This year, renewable energy, including bioenergy, was at the centre of attention thanks to COP21. EU28 decision makers were among the front runners in the promotion of renewables, highlighting our current 16% share of renewable energy consumption, out of which bioenergy represents 10%. However, if we take a closer look at the latest European statistics on energy, well, the situation is a bit more complex. To understand bioenergy correctly, it is important to consider the big picture. In fact, the European Union remains highly dependent on imported fossil fuels. The average 28 energy dependence was 53.4%. This share continues to increase for oil, gas and coal. In comparison, China and the United States have a far lower energy dependence at just under 20%. Besides weakening the EU geopolitically, the European Commission estimates that imports are creating massive GDP leakage, amounting to a loss of up to 1 billion euros per day. The way to recover independence is well known. We need to develop renewable energy while improving our energy efficiency. In fact, apart from being environmentally friendly, Renewables tend to be locally sourced. Let's take the example of bioenergy. Compared to fossil fuel, only 4.4% of bioenergy is imported annually, which represents 5.6 million tonnes of oil equivalent. This amount is 100 times less than our oil imports. Can bioenergy help reduce EU energy dependence? The figures suggest it can. Did you know that bioenergy for heat, electricity and transport represents 60% of all renewables consumed in Europe and is actually the leading European source of green energy? From 2000 to 2014, the consumption of bioenergy has doubled and according to Member States' projections, by 2020, a growth of 32% is expected compared to 2014. There is substantial room for improvement in some sectors. Heating and cooling, for example, represents 50% of total EU energy consumption, of which 82% is provided by fossil fuels and 16% by bioenergy. Installing new pellet fuel stoves in homes, efficient boilers in schools, hotels and farms, as well as developing district heating fueled by wood chips, could dramatically improve EU28 energy dependence and efficiency. Regarding the biomass resource, two-thirds of bioenergy consumed in Europe comes from woody biomass. What is not well known is that European forests have actually been constantly growing over the last decades, both in size and density. EU28 forests reached 26 billion cubic metres, meaning that all forests increased in volume by 34% over the last quarter of a century. In the EU28, forest cover currently increases at the rate of one football field every minute. When compared to the development of bioenergy production in Europe, this shows that, thanks to sustainable forest management practices, bioenergy could achieve more while keeping EU forest stock growing. Besides multiple environmental benefits, bioenergy is also a leading employer in the renewable field, with 500,000 people working in the sector. This is equal to the number of jobs created in the wind and solar sectors combined. But this upward trend cannot be taken for granted. In 2015, European investment in renewables, including bioenergy, decreased by 21%. In a time of low oil prices, we need to keep our political ambitions strong, especially if Europe is ever to become number one in renewable energy. Fighting fossil fuel dependence will require strong policy measures, which always stem from strong general involvement and awareness. Well, now you know that you can count on bioenergy, and we hope that we can count on you to share this message.